Hello, my name is Ian. I'm a solution architect with Matillion. In this video, we'll be looking at a common ELT design pattern, which is how to perform lookups. Let's get started. In order to create a dimension which we can use for the lookup demonstration, I'm going to use the DIM airport setup job. That's one of the example jobs you'll find when you create a new project. The job should take about 60 seconds to run to completion and once it's finished you should find in your environment a table called Matillion DIM Airports which contains the airport dimension. I'll switch over now to look at the data that we're going to try and join to and this is a sample data set that I've loaded from elsewhere which contains some flight data and each record here has got a departure airport code and an arrival airport code. In order to look up the departure and arrival airport codes, I need to do two things. First of all, bring the reference data into the transformation job, which I do with a table input operator. And I'm gonna choose Matillion DIM airports, that's my dimension table. And I'll take the primary key, the IATA code, and the airport name from that table. I then need to join those two which is the thing which will actually do the lookup. And in the join component, I'll set the main table to be the flights data with an alias of F. And I'll join that onto the DIM airports table with an alias of D for departures. And the join expression is gonna be the departure IATA code is equal to the departure IATA code from the facts table. And the last thing I need to put is I'll add all of the output columns to start with and I'll just put the departure airport after the departure code like that. So we've now done a lookup. What I'll do is just grab a sample data set from there and we can see now that every one of these departure IATA codes has now got its associated airport next to it. We've joined onto the departure airport code then. So what about the arrival one? Well, I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing again. I'm going to add another table and this time it's going to be the same table again, Matillion DIM airports, but I'm just gonna rename that to differentiate it and I'm going to choose the same two columns again and add this one into the join. Now I need to put another join onto this list and it's going to be the arrivals one with an alias of A and I need to provide that with a join code and again I'm going to put IATA code this time to the arrival IATA. I can now go to the output columns and add one new column from the arrivals and that's the uh, arrival airport name and I need to differentiate from the departure airport now. So I'll give them names like that and then let's check with a data sample. This time I've got the flight ID and both the departure airport name and the arrival airport name. So we've seen there how to do ELT lookups using the Matillion join operator. And it's also been a demonstration of how to use a role playing dimension. This DIM airports has been used twice for two different purposes, once for the departure airport and once for the arrival airport. And uh, it doesn't matter when we get to this join operator where that data came from the uh, airport data could have come from a completely different system and it also doesn't matter if it was not actually available at the same time as the flights data. The beauty of ELT is that when we come to use this downstream now it's all happening inside the database. Well I hope that helped you with your ELT design. For more information visit us at matillion.com or you can launch a free trial at any time from the AWS marketplace.